Ah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect couple right here, as you were mentioning. Um, yeah, so welcome to so Dig House. Like welcome, yes. Uh, VWS versus Dig House. What do you think about them? I'm interested. Uh, it comes especially as the Dig House have actually, that they banned us too as well, and uh, they ended up picking Train. Uh, and we haven't seen Train tonight, uh, or today rather. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how they can play it in regards to their sort of previous play styles. I uh, don't know too much about it, but VWS, but they're, they're going to be a big opponent, I would say. Yeah, I think Dig House can perform very well mm -hmm. on this map. Uh, I'm not sure about VWS. I heard that they are having a stand-in. Oh, right, really? This game. So uh, let's see how they can communicate with each other, how the teamwork is playing out. Yeah, I mean, I think it's actually very smart then choice from Dig House to be able to pick Train, where it's very CT-sided, and having a stand-in on a, on a map like Train is not going to be viable at all. Um, so sort of taking out the sort of very basic Dust 2 map, which is very much pug and easy to play uh, kind of uh, map. Obviously, it's been around for about 16 years now, which is ludicrous uh, that a map could be around that long uh, in, a, in a virtual environment, as it were. Um, so picking this map, uh, very good to go against the VWS. VWS's pick was Mirage, uh, and the decider will be a co uh, over Overpass, rather. Overpass. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Mirage, we have seen Mirage once already, mm -hmm. and uh, in this... Uh, in this game, there was uh, wreckage. Yeah, you could say that. Uh, uh, how do you think VWS versus Tick House? Uh, do we see the same kind of wreckage, or would you rather see uh, even evenly matched teams? Um, I think the stand is going to be the tip uh, stand in uh, for the for VWS's side. It's going to be the tipping point, especially on train, which I mentioned is down to team tactics. So if Tick House come into this side, obviously starting on the T side, as they got to pick the map. If they do, if they if they know all the smokes on on train, they're going to be able to execute it perfectly, and they should get quite a few rounds on the, the T side. But it's then coming on onto the C side, where CT side rather, where it's the most important round like, side, obviously, and that's going to really sort of dictate how it goes. So we're going to be going into the this round, guys. Walk us through the buy. Well, we in a few seconds see what they decide. We have uh, Dick House really starting off. On the T side, uh, if they can perform well, yeah, well, it, they definitely have it in the bag. T CT side is uh, is the favorable side on this map, and uh, actually we can see VWS. Everybody will get the body armor if Dick House can land his headshots. Yeah. then uh, well, VWS has nothing to put up against, up against them. Yeah, I mean, if uh, w one really crucial thing, uh, especially on, on train, is, uh, well, as I said, that's going to be entering into towards that B side, just hammering them down with the Glocks. And even at that distance, they managed to find the kill onto uh, Prelid and, uh, and also the headshot onto Luke G. This is not looking so good for the CTs, but they get a trade off. Taurus with the first kill, the headshot of the USB. It's down to a three versus four situation. No diffuse gets in the hands. Vic is also going to be able to get a kill, but it's down to a two versus two situation. Health on each team is not looking so good, but Witchy there actually has uh, quite a lot of health with HP, so he should be able to do a lot of damage. And so, talking of which, he managed to get a sort of kill, Vicha. He's going in for the final kill there. Kalinka, last player live on the CT side in a very difficult situation. Time is ticking down. He's going to go in for the defuse, but there's a guy coming up from above. Gabrick is going to be the end of yeah. it. Uh, he's able to finish the round, and Dickhouse gets there first, uh, and uh, also possibly the next two, if yeah. they can play it properly. I mean, Dickhouse, this round was perfect. They entered the site perfectly, they got the plant down, and uh, uh, up uh, was... Uh, yeah, I mean, they, they, was there. Yeah. They, they certainly know how to enter. Yeah, um, that's true. So, we're seeing see if they can do that again in towards the A site. They've already got a uh, sort of presence here. Nate is going to get taken down. He's going to get taken out by Kravit. It was all about Gavrik there. Luke G is going to get a Deagle. I think that's a 1 Deagle, rather. Right next to the smoke is going to be down to him to be able to pull out the damage as the D's looking to push in. He misses the shot. Zilla's going to be able to get the kill onto him. That's the crucial spot where Pitcher's going to get the kill onto Torres. It's the 2 versus 3 situation. Zilla is tagged down to 11 HP, so not looking so healthy for him. And he's going to get pushed on here, and he's going to get taken out for 11. He's going to be able to get 2 kills, and he does just that. It's a 1v1, but no, the scouts. What amazing play wow. here from City side, uh, Preliden doing some work with the uh, 5 7 in his hands. Two kills before going down himself. He really had possibilities to take this yeah. round back and secure the first round for themselves. But uh, it's going to be full echo this time, so they can buy next next round. Yeah, they're going to have to wait to buy on the fourth round, and that is really dangerous, especially on the CT side. If the house can keep this momentum up, they could just find themselves moving so far ahead. We're going to be seeing a, a Kovic go far straight into the clutch as he finds a kill, though. Almost the second one, but we're actually going to see 
The Linker get a kill on that. Torres has picked up the Max Hand too. CT is pushing up. They're going to get a kill. This is not looking so good all of a sudden for this uh, tease, but that, that round was fantastic. I mean, they didn't get the win, but what is it they got from that round? Well, VWS making so much economical damage for yeah. the Dick House. Uh, very good strategy to push all together. They got uh, some weapons down. Yeah. Of course, the cows got the round, but that doesn't matter. Uh, the economical damage was there, and uh, the cows now have to be very careful. They know BWS have started strongly, uh, though they didn't get any rounds in the first three of them. But now, quick starting it off with a nice AVP kill on Nita. It's going to be down to a three versus five situation as CTs pick up the first two kills, potentially a third, and it comes out on the fourth. Tora is going huge. Zilla getting one in, but not before Kalinka can find the final kill. VWS here to make the difference, and they bring in their first round. They have to be very careful not to get reset in this position. Economy is very unstable for them. They're going to be able to buy up. They've done a lot of damage to Dickhouse as well, and we can see that damage coming through. I mean, just look at their buy. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, if they didn't do the rush on the third round, I think uh, Dick House could have bought yeah, yeah, they could. this time. So ideally, uh, ideally played out there for BWS and uh, Quick with AVP now can do some work as yeah. the terrorists try to go inside B where there is only Preliden with M4 to defend it. Yeah, so his uh, sort of position and sort of uh, like what he has to do is do a little bit of a delay. He's got an incendiary grenade to try and push them off, so he needs to get that uh, sort of down fast over towards a low ramp before they push through it. But Knight is there, ready to push in, and then the job objective here for Dickhouse is to get the bomb down and get that cash in flowing. It's going to be coming in now. The M4 is going to be coming in from above. Rain in hell on the T's. Guess one kill, but not quite the second one. Vista's going to find the kill. That's two CETs already dead. The incendiary grenade is going to be coming out. The orb is not going to be able to land this shot. He's going to go for a second one. He's going to miss it now. Turn around the corner, potentially find a kill. And Nate, if he finds the angle, but he doesn't actually spot him out. So he's going to be pushing up a Kalinka. He does get a kill for himself. Torres joining in, but there's going to be a guy above him. Bitcher. He finds the kill with the Deagle. Now Zilla, crucial position to be able to find a kill there. If Zilla decides to push in, now he's going to go and he misses the 1D, but he gets a little bit damaged. Nice. And that's going to no. be another round on the ball for D VWS, shutting down the economy of Dick House. But unfortunately for them, they let the bomb go down, so there's extra economy. Extra in economy. Their Plus Dick House, uh, very good kills. Uh, two of them for Bleacher and uh, one for them as well. I don't yeah. remember exactly who it was, but doing some great economical damage for the VWS, uh, really struggling with their money, if they would lose this round, I think they would be forced to echo or actually, or at least to do a half buy. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah, the comical damage that is always just a back and forth, back and forth, who can take control of it. And this is going to be the equalizer. So this is really a crucial round of how the next few rounds are going to be decided, because this is where the CTs can run away. If they win this round, they shut it down. And they've actually got two AWPs playing here, one over yeah. towards long as well. So it's going to be an interesting how Prelidon can play with that. This round, player. Preliden will miss the first AVP shot, but uh, manages to get away with AVP in his hands and 48 HP left. It seems like the terrorists have uh, fallen back now a bit as the information for the cities have come in. Now Nute in the great position for taking down Kalinka, but Kalinka will land his shots better and Nute will fall before him. Yeah, and so now Dickhouse with only four players left. Not looking so good for Dickhouse here. They haven't got the positions, they haven't got the players. They do have the sort of corner, sort of utility rather. So entering in towards B site here is going to be an option. Luigi is we're not looking to see what damage he can do if they try to push down that low ramp, but we're going to be seeing them push in now. The Molotov's incendiary is going to be pushing in. The damage is going to be coming out onto Zilla, who's taking the pack down to 28 HP, but it doesn't matter. He's going to turn around and get the kill, but for a little with AWP, he's going to land the shot. And now it's down to a three versus three situation. The AK47 going to be able to pull that kill onto Torres now. Kalinka is going to be coming up behind, but he gets the kill. The headshot, nonetheless, they're looking to take this one for themselves, but Mr. he's in a perfect position to get the kill. Another kill onto the CT side. Now Kalinka is going to be coming from the side. He gets taken down. Now one versus two for Lidden with AWP. He doesn't land the shots. And that is it, the round thrown away and the equalizer is not going to come in. The economy is looking pretty disastrous now for the CTs. As you mentioned, they've now been pushed back. Yeah, they have been pushed back. They need to echo or not quick with AVP after that loss. Yeah. Do you think this was miscommunication or did he actually want to buy that AVP? 
it, it might just be going in for the all or nothing. Yeah, <laughs> I, okay. I hope it were, because I mean, if you're going glass cannon on the eco round, it's going to be very difficult to do too much. Uh, they are going to have the eco for quite a while, so it might be that they're just like, well, we'll just throw our best at it, go for a bit of a rush. But unfortunately for them, Knight has actually heard them and seen them. So if they try to push two fights, he's going to be able to take them, and he takes one, actually, his pitcher. And now uh, you can see Knight come around the corner, but Kalinka's going to get two kills with the 5 7. That was an excellent play from him. He can recover a gun for his team, and we're going to see uh, AWP M4 and uh, 5 7 left on the side of CTs. And then the 3 versus 3, but Taurus says no. He pulls out the two kills, and now Kavik with the final one. What a round from VAWS Gaming. What a round indeed. VWS, once again, they were rushing from B side, and mm -hmm. what spot on was the pistol fire? Yeah, against, Kalinka. Yeah, yeah, against Dick House. Really worked for them. Where they put, pulled themselves back after that one round loss they had. And VWS are now in a comfortable lead, to be said. Uh, Dick House forced to play with pistols. Yeah, they're not going to be left with much, but or potentially even less if uh, Palin can get, can get the kills on them. And Knight's going to be looking to go in from above the deal. Can he pull up the Quandi that we're looking for? That is going to be the question. Kalinka, uh, if it starts off with one kill, Knight from the side is looking to try and get a kill. Palin gets one, he gets two, can he get third, and he does just that. But he's going to get taken out from behind. Gavrik tries to do as much damage as he can, but it's not going to happen. They get the bomb down. They get the bomb down. And that's that was the, yeah, yeah, that was the intentions. Uh, Dick House will get some economical boost and they are able to buy this round yeah. so this bomb plant was necessary <laughs> this was exactly yeah. yeah so now that bomb plant allows them to be able to try and make a push against uh, vws and try and take the equalizer away from them stop them from having that ground and try and gain as many rounds as possible because it's a lot easier to get around to train on the on the ct side uh, and talking about the ct side i mean when it comes down to it Entering in, the, in towards the, the B site for Dick House is a lot easier than it is to defend it. So doing the retakes is what you really want to be going for in that situation. Just leave one person there, go for the quick retakes, and it's like a few seconds to rotate in towards the either side. But as I'm saying that, the kill's going to be coming out of Vista onto one, and then he's going to be equalized. Now going for the second one, not going to happen. Zilla picks him up. Well, that was a bit of over-aggression there, in my opinion. But uh, well, quick with AVP, he can do anything right now. He can save the round, but also Dick House the cards are open yeah. for them. Yeah, four I mean, on four on the scoreboard. Let's see who can pull it away now this time. Yeah, so Torres is going to be looking to peek around the corner. Zilla could find his head if he's not careful enough, but he's going to think better of a turn or away. And we'll see if anyone's going to peek in, but he's going to keep a half an eye on uh, Ivy then. We do see on the map that the, the T is going to be spreading themselves a little bit thin across the map. They're going to have lots of options here. Knight going in for a little bit of distraction over towards B, potentially as the ball might be going in towards A. And you can see this is a perfect little distraction for him. Now Zed is going to be coming in from Ivy, chucking down the smoke, cover up his descent, and he could easily make his way over towards CT here, unknown towards the CT side. The, the, the bomb's going to be coming out. Torres going to frag. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be a little bit of a Batman. It's going to come from above, but he's going to get denied. Freeland with one kill, going in for a second. Not going to happen. Nice in a 1v1 situation. AWP in the hands of Kravik. Can he pull this out of the bag against the uh, Knight here, who is 23 HP, two, two kills on the board. Lots of utility. Grenade could come out, being a little bit of a distraction. The flash is not going to work. It flashes both of them, actually. So he's going to turn around the corner. And he's going to take it out for a Linden. And the push. Good clutch from Quick there. Uh, what VWS had there, they had information. Yeah. Um, Dick House had no idea where Quick was mm -hmm. located in, and uh, that's what won the team the, the round. Uh, yeah. yeah, round. Yeah, I mean, what a round from them as well. I mean, look, he's going to be able to keep the AWP. The economy's not so fantastic on the side of the CTs. On the T side, they're going to be going in a little for a bit of a desperate yeah. buy. But even even the Dick House is echoing, or even if they have pistols only, they are doing great economical damage. They are going for the ball plants. Now Torres with a spray down. Possibly he's not incoming, but gets down too. Nute will punish him after that. Uh, Dick House tried an ag aggressive rush, but uh, Zilla now left alone. Well, it was... Um, <laughs> it was a good try. It was a good try, but uh, do you know what just happened? Didn't work out for the cost. Two rounds advantage to the side of VWS. So this is where they could run away with it. If they take those two rounds, that's the half win for them. And realistically, I mean, did we expect this with a stand-in? No, but we don't know how good that stand-in is within the team. He might play them a lot. Nonetheless, they've been playing fantastic now, coming back from it. Their aggression towards B apartments uh, sort of area has been fantastic. Uh, Dick House execution onto size is not as good as well as you might think, considering they picked this map. Well, yeah, but uh, you, can, you have to consider that uh, terrorist side on train mm -hmm. is very difficult to play. Oh, if, uh, if VWS gives uh, a little space for them, they can turn it 
the other way around in a second. Yeah, so that's actually going to be the bomb, uh, bomb uh, getting dropped there, but the equalizer kill is going to be coming out. Vista and Torres are going to get dropped. Remember, Torres has been a key player here. So we're going to be seeing the T's pushing towards long here. They want to go towards the B side. It's a lot easier for them to enter against the, the CTs if the fen defenses are not there. What does I say that, though? There's a player over towards the A side. And it's going to be Garrog, but he's going to get taken out from behind. Kalinga, completely unforgiven. Makes him pay for his mistakes. Now, Knight's going to be going to be looking to push him in from above. Free Linden going in from a below. Gets one kill. Going to go up the second one. This is coming out, but it's not going to land. Zilla and Knight going to be able to F1. The entry kills getting the bomb down in a two versus two situation. Kavik going in for the flash. We've seen him do it before. Can he land these op shots? Peeking around the corner. Sees him. Gets grenaded for his troubles. And Molotov, then he's going to be out of there. He's, he doesn't have a. He has a smoke in his hand, so he can actually enter in. Yeah, but Kalinka now from behind do that. There is no. That there is one player lurking behind. I don't think they do. Kalinka. Oh, Nute with good reactions there. And quick will also fall for Nute. Nute with uh, three kills, securing their five. Yeah. Fifth, sorry, fifth round for Dick House. Yeah, I mean, that, that's a really good amount of rounds to have. I mean, uh, we've seen people win, win it with less or come back to uh, sort of 15-15 and go into overtime. So the fact that they've got five rounds of reward, fantastic. Even better for VWS. They've got six. They could take this as a complete reset. They could reset Dick Howells' economy and push on forward from there. And I really think they could actually do that. And we're going to be seeing uh, Dick House with AWP on Gavrik. Seeing what damage he can do. A lot of uh, presence from the team over towards B. That grenade doesn't actually land. Doesn't, doesn't do any damage, yeah. So I'm surprised a bit. Look, VWS is playing uh, mostly one player in B. And uh, most round wins, I believe, from the Dick House have been on B side. Nuta will fall down. And so will the Zita. We're left in a 1v4 situation. Vigi, he's going to be looking to see what he can do. Vigi coming in, takes down one player. Now there's only three people to take, but he's got the bomb, he's got the ammo, he's got the kills, he's got two so far. Third one on the board. He's looking, he's going to get surrounded, and the perfect pincer movement's coming in from VWS, taking the seventh round on the board. And that is a fantastic round from them. So we're going to be seeing uh, Dick House put on the back foot here, not looking so healthy. I mean, if you look at the rounds here, they've actually just had their economy reset. And they're going to have to go in for a little bit of a partial buy or just a pistol buy and see what damage they can do against VWS. They only need a few more rounds to make this a very optimal uh, sort of Yeah, alpha. I mean, like Dick House, I, I believe they are already happy with the five rounds oh, yeah. they have. Uh, now, every round they will get is a bonus. They, w they won't have to try that hard if they get uh, just like one more round, maybe. Yeah. But uh, let's see how the play goes off the Kalinka with three kills uh, very quickly with the, the only peop only person left alive. And shortly after, he will also fall. So eight rounds on VWS on the scoreboard. We are rushing towards the end of the first half. Yeah, I mean, there's only two more rounds up on the board. Can Dick House take these two rounds, uh, take the seventh round? Well, to eight to seven rounds on the board for them. I, I think they have the potential, but... Well, they're going I mean, for the last round. Uh, it's a smart move also because they don't yeah. have that much money in this round. Um, we'll get a few pistols to help them make maybe some economical damage. Yeah. But uh, nothing more. Yeah, so we're going to be seeing a little bit of a, a, a execute here, but unfortunately for Linden's coming up from behind. He's going to be a little bit of a ninja, takes him out. First kill, dropping down. He's going to get taken out, though. A little bit of a trade, but Kavik's right behind him, takes the kill. Now Vista takes out the machine, but Kalinka has the answer. Finds one, finds two. Cleans up the round for themselves, taking it to nine rounds on the board for VWS on the first half. What a brilliant performance from VWS. VWS really playing the team here. Do you see that both terrorist players were completely <laughs> flashed? Uh, they just had to step right out, out of their corner and yeah. shoot them down. Nothing for Dick House to do there. And Nothing they can do. for the last round, we get to see Kaparik on AVP. Yeah, I mean, we've seen him on that before. He wasn't actually able to do too much damage, but this time it might be a little bit different. He's got later P looking to go towards Team A. He's gonna get denied that push, though, as Kalinka has the answer. Molotov and Sindri, grenade following up as well. So the T is gonna be a little bit desperate for this round. They need it. Uh, I mean, they're going to be quite happy with the five rounds, but going to be moving forward. Torres is going to be able to get a kill. No, he doesn't actually land it. He misses the shot peaks again. He gets taken out for his trouble. That's what you get for repicking and missing. You don't get many chances here. We're going to be seeing Kavik with the AWP going to try and make up for his uh, teammates' past aggressions here. And he's going to look to peek and right over towards uh, Soft B there, doing a little bit of damage. But Kavik here over towards Ivy once again. We're going to be seeing Luke taken down to 17 HP. That was a little bit of a tag through the smoke. Now Vish is going to be looking to make his entry into Pop Dog. And this could be the start of the end uh, if they move quickly enough, especially as they've got advantage here. Yeah. yeah, they've got an advantage and, uh, well, they're not positioned very very well. Quick is watching 
position of Zila and Vizda now quick land one. Doesn't land the second one, Zila gets quick down and Luki will fall also. So Kalinka and Preliden, two CTs left alive to defend the last round of this half. So, and the terrorist also inside B already. Well, yeah, I mean, this is going to be very hard to get them out. It's like a thorn in your foot, going to be hard to try and wedge it out. But saying that, but Linus trying to try and do his best, but it's not good enough. He's going to get taken out. Kalinka, last player alive, takes the kill to Pitcher. He's in a 1v3 situation, already found one kill. Can he find it any more? That's a question. They know exactly where he's at. It's going to be very difficult, especially with Knight with the AK. One tap to finish it off. Scream would be proud. Although, it was a good position, and so you just have to press the trigger. Yeah. Um, but nonetheless, fantastic first half from both teams. Six rounds on the board for Dick House. That's above optimal, uh, I'd say, for the T side on, on train, as it's very CT sided. Now, VWS, they have to prove that they're not only good at defending and sort of doing these retakes, but also fantastic at doing the attack and uh, having the, the stat, uh, sort of the tactics going in towards the sides. Well, we have seen VWS from uh, the first half now. They are good in performing oh, with the team. They can flash and. Uh, come out of corners in the right moment when they need to. I'm hoping to see that in the second half also. Yeah. And now, of course, the cows in the favorable position to secure themselves the first map, which is also their map. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's arguable to say that you might expect a little bit more from them on this side, but I think the, the, the main reason why they might pick one is one, pretty good on the map, but I definitely give them on that on the T side, but two, they know that Dickhouse are going to have a stand-in, so use and abuse your opponent's weaknesses, that's exactly what you should be doing there, they've done that from the start. Now we're going to be going into the pistol round, what are we going to be seeing from the buy here? Well, once again, we have so many body armors, like the last pistol round yeah. we had. This time Gaborik uh, has the fuse kit, though, yeah. and ready to retake sight if, if needed. Torres now Leading the terrorist to the B side, Kaborik will try to defend, but manages to fall back. Yeah, we're going to be seeing the, the T's falling like flies here. Bitch is going to be able to get another kill. VWS looking very weak. Kalink last player alive. He's going to get headshot and taken down. Another round on the board for the uh, Dick House. Dick House there, sorry. Yeah, they swapped the, yeah. Uh, swapped it, the, it was the red for me. Nonetheless, perfect round from them. They perfect got the execution round. on there, first of all. I mean, he was able to back off, uh, depend on his team to be able to get kills. That exactly happened. It was really well executed by Dick House. Uh, so sort of defend, defend on that slight. Now, BWS, are they going to be able to try and do this force? Yeah, I think they are going to try. These are two equal, equally good teams. I believe uh, yeah. BWS has a re very, very good chance to take this round. As I'm saying, Prelude then all already opening up this round with a good headshot with Tech 9 Zila now making it three versus four with two kills with Famas. Yeah, it's a really good start to the round for uh, uh, Dickhouse, rather. I mean, they lost the first player, bitch, obviously, uh, to that Mac. Uh, sorry, that uh, Tank 9, obviously, had the Mac 7. Uh, the Mac 7 has actually been picked up by Prelim, but he's going to realize the distance on the A site is not going to be the best weapon to enter into. But Torres is in the perfect position to find a kill if he can spot out the head. We're going to see Knight with the AWP, oh, sorry, AWP, the M4 over towards uh, to connect to there. But I don't think he's been spotted out. Vista hasn't even seen him, so this is very dangerous for them. He's playing very sneakily. He jumps across, he's going for the shots, he misses them. He's not going to land enough damage. He does get the kill. <laughs> onto two players. What is going on now, Quandig? Hello. Now Gavrik looking to try and make up for his team. He's going to be entering in with the MP9. Looking for fast kills there. He's not going to get any. He's going to get taken out by the Pro 90. Now last player alive. Zilla, he's got two kills ready. This would be an ace if he can pick this up. He's done a lot of damage ready to Prelin, but the bomb is down. He doesn't He, does have, he doesn't have any utility. He has the defuse kit, but he's going to get stuck on the bomb from the start. We're going to see, it, see him get taken yeah. down. What a fantastic round from VWS to bring this back and shutting down the economy of Dick House straight Yeah, away. as I said before, VWS, very good plays with the team. Yep team-wise, and what I would criticize here, Kovarik had a very good chance to mm -hmm. uh, maybe delay a bit, maybe get one or two kills out of the retake yeah. on B, but uh, maybe a bit too enthusiastic there, rushed into sight and didn't check his corners. Agreed, Paid, yeah. Yeah, it, it didn't pay off this time, but uh, well, it was last round, this time new chances. Yeah, but new chance is very slim, especially if they've got a majority of the Eagles and P250s. But I think they want to try and make up for the fact that they've had the one the Eagles against them. They want to get some for themselves. And uh, Zilla's going to have to do some work with this uh, P250. He's going to get smoked off that over towards Ivy, as the T's are going to be looking to push in through. If they have the sort of idea to sm uh, smash through that smoke with the AKs, they could get some kills. The flash is going to be coming out. He's completely flashed, but if he peeks through, he could find some heads, pop them off. 
but he's still going to be stuck behind this wall to the side and let's go aggressive as they try to enter in here. They've got a lot of damage out ready, but there's three other there. He's in the smoke. He doesn't actually get a kill. He gets the damage, but doesn't get to finish him off. Now we're going to be seeing BWS entering perfectly here, not losing a single burst. We're going to be seeing Freeland pick up another one as well. Two people left alive. This is the last one man alive. He got the super flash perfectly. He gets one kill. Doesn't get the second as he's taken out. I have to say, Luke, 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 Luke was actually only left with one HP. One HP, that was <laughs> really on. close. Yeah, hang uh, on, yeah. VWS, very good plays there. Mm -hmm. three, three from behind, two from the spawn right away. Uh, Big House just got surrounded, nothing to do there. And the 11th point for the v VWS is on the scoreboard. And Big House, once again, with pistols only. Yeah, I mean, what they're supposed to do in this situation, they've got one P250, which is the only upgraded pistol. Now, Bishop has pushed his way up here. Could find a cheeky headshot if they don't check his corners, but I think BWS are above that, and they should be able to. We're going to see Preen lead and push straight up if they don't check the corners in time, but they're going to check the corners, but it's not in time. He gets a lot of damage, but not quite the kill. The kill's going to rain out. BWS doing a lot of damage, but we're going to be seeing Preen Lee dropped. He only had a little bit of HP, so that's not surprising. Now, Gabra can last their lives. Looking to get kills with PT Thousand. It's going to happen. So we're going to see another round on the board for VWS. Look at the take this map away from Dickhouse, who obviously chose the map in the first place. Yeah, Dickhouse, maybe now would be a good time to start uh, taking rounds. They mm -hmm. are on the CT side. They should be able to, because it is, they are defending train so CT side in map. So I would expect that Dickhouse would start getting their points now. Yeah, I mean, now they've got a full sort of utility, well, sort of, well, half utility buy, I guess. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, Bitch has got the AWP, but he's also got his cannon, so he has to be very careful in the peaks he does. When he shoots, he has to hit them. He can't make the mistakes, which we've seen multiple players with AWPs uh, that this game make so far. And once again, there's a, the, there's a high presence of T's uh, this round towards Ivy. This has happened multiple times, so the CT should be reading this and using it. Yeah, but then there's mind players. Do they do this once again, or yeah, will yeah. they not? You never know. <laughs> yeah, so then getting really tricky on that. I mean, obviously, we just saw the first kill coming out. Gamberic is going to get dropped. So advantage over to VWS straight off the bat. I mean, they've got the guns as well. Advantage apart from the AWP on the side of Dickhouse. But even then on this map, it could be uh, sort of blocked off in multiple angles. And I mean, if you have a look where it's actually placed, he's over towards uh, sort of sort of a connector area, looking to see if they do push in. He can position themselves perfectly. Three T's looking to enter in through towards T main. Kalinka coming in from Hot Talk here, looking to make his presence known. Yeah, it looks like the terrorists are trying to go A side. Actually, Kalinka already inside A. Nobody has noticed it and will manage to get neutered down from behind and quick will add one more from top of the train. This is not going in the way of Dick House, not at all. Oh. Oh, they're just not able to hold on to the sides and when the retakes come in, they, they just left with nothing to be able to do that. So, I mean, Vista and uh, oh, Zilla here are going to have to try and do hard work to bring this back. And Vizilla's in the perfect position to do so. He, ta he almost takes the last kill there. With 12 HP left on uh, his opposition and not uh, on himself. And he's lost his oh. last players there. Now, Vista, last man alive. Can he do any damage? Or is he going to have to back out here and save it? I mean, considering two of the T players, one 12 HP, one 11, and the pause is going to be coming in. I'll be able to tell you what that is about, and surely I imagine it'll be a tactical one, especially as they've. Uh, I mean, how's it? How many rounds? Is it? They've lost three, well, four rounds now, including yeah, this no, one no, in no, a no, row. Four, four. It, so it is not looking good for the cows, no. not at all. And uh, Riza, does he manage to get any kills? No. Wow. BWS manages to take the 13th round for themselves, and with what, what confidence? Yeah, like every they, they, team is left alive after this round. Yes, I mean, it's going to be full round loss bonus for Dickhouse, but even then, with that money, they're going to be put in a very precarious situation. I mean, they're going to be able to buy up next round either way, and as long as they only spend like, to about 2k, and then they can buy up next round. Um, yeah. But they need to do as much damage as they can to VWS to make sure they're not running away with the economy. In the last round, they didn't get any kills. They didn't get any kills, but uh, if you look at the economy already, they are quite, quite a bit running away already. Yeah. Look at L Luki with 10k in his bank. <laughs> they can do anything they want. They can yeah. buy like uh, five negams or soon. Yeah, I mean, not yet, but soon <laughs> if they want to. <laughs> do a little bit of uh, rush B of the, the negams as well. It's yeah. classic. And I mean, I think one of the important things on that is that they're not concentrating on buying the orbs. If they get an orb, it's usually when it's dropped by the opposition. Um, but making sure they don't buy too many. So if Torres was to buy an orb now, that's almost half his cash gone. Yeah. I think it is actually half, like, just around his half, half his cash. Well, there's no point because they can work yeah, they, very they, well with AKs. They can, yeah. um, they can enter sites and they uh, have so much mobility. 
Yeah, they've been able to sort of smash their way in there, and that's been really what, what has been important there. They're playing off each other, they're getting the trade kills, and that's something that was missing from our last games. We were watching, obviously, Alpha versus mm -hmm. uh, well, yeah. Expressive, uh, and it wasn't happening for Expressive. They weren't getting those cr trade kills that should have been there. Um, but this time we've seen it, the whole team, they're, they're really performing together. Uh, Dick House as well have been doing fantastic, but I think they uh, kind of put themselves in a the trap as uh, VWS are very comfortable on this map. I and mean, it's just the, the way they're moving around this map. It's fantastic. Yeah, we have seen great team plays from VWS. Uh, the round 21st is on its way, and uh, VWS actually needs only three more rounds to secure themselves the first map of this best of three. Yeah, so they're going to be looking to make some damage. Uh, they've only got to get three more rounds, as you mentioned. Now, Knight is going to be looking from above, from below. If they try to decide to push him, they could be down. But Torres, Torres is going to be potentially big. The kill is it there? What happened there, guys? Nute, you need to land this one digs. Yeah, Torres yeah. Uh, will punish Nute for <laughs> picking this position, and uh, VWS five five people five people to push B side seems seems like it's not going to happen. But if they wanted to, they could do it. Yeah, as you say, that local link is going to be able to find one kill, but the trade's coming out from uh, Bitch there. He gets the now Fiesta once again. Finally, with the Quandigs, it's not going to happen for them now. And AK has been recovered by Bitch, who also has that P250 now. Zilla, what does he do? He's got that Quandig. Does he go for some damage here? He could well do that. He's in the CT position. Could find some damage. If they go hunting for him, which I would probably recommend to try and kill the economy as they can, at the same time, they have to be careful not to lose too many of their men. If they lost three, it'd be disastrous. But at the same time, Bitch has no armor. And if they find him, they could easily get kills there. Now, Valenti is going to get... Oh, so close to get taken down, but he's going to be left with 20 HP. Turn around the corner. Bitch in a very precarious situation. Fight one, but not the second one. It's loose coming around the corner. Perfect pincer movement. And we're going to be seeing uh, VWS clean the gals up nice and easily. And we're going to be seeing uh, the T's landed with loads of money in the bank. Apart from Freeland and, and uh, Kalinka, who's uh, quite light. Yeah, no. Dick House now with two AVPs. They need to step up this game. It was their pick of the map. If they lose this one and VWS feels very comfortable on the yeah. Mirage, then, well, it's over for Dick House. But let's hope they can still do it, because uh, CT side, you don't want to lose CT side. Yeah, maybe so bad. Yeah, I mean, a little bit embarrassed, but we're going to see that he's going to lose one player. Potentially the second one, but no, <laughs> they're going to be able to take the kills there, but it's down to a two versus four situation. It's not going to be like, it's not, no, it's been like this for a while, but you think he misses that shot, that chance. Now, Bedger does take the AWP and takes advantage of it. Now, Kalinka left in a 1v4 situation. He has got the AK, he's going to be picking around the corner, but the smoke's going to cut him off, and he's not going to be able to see Vista, who snaps his head off. Yeah, very real play there, Dick House. Now, we'll have to take all of the remaining rounds if they want to win this or uh, take it to the overtime, which yeah. which they wouldn't prefer, I believe. Yeah, they, I mean, that, that's not what you want. That's that's not what you want, especially when you're like so so far behind. Yeah, I mean, on the, the CT side, I mean, a lot of them performed very well, but Bitcher obviously being their top player here. Now, Bitcher, he's got AWP. He can do the damage, but... Is he going to be able to help the B site when, it, when it's potentially going to take off? But Gavrok is not going to allow it. He takes Torres down. And Torres is one of the key players here. He's done a lot of damage across the game. He's going to get dropped by Gavrok. He's probably the he's at least one so far. We have the presence over towards Ivy as well. Yeah, now quick uh, near the, the Ivy position. No CTs to pick him as yet. Pick, although Zilla is now... That's now in play. the position, now AVP, but oh, quick, will try, but will miss his first off shot. Zilat, I don't think he will be peaking the second time. Rather, he falls back and tries to take any rushes. Yeah, which is obviously the bad uh, sort of choice now. He is going to chuck the smoke down, cutting him off and be down to push through, but they're going to push through nonetheless, but they're going to get flashed completely out. The grenades are going to be coming in. <laughs> they're going to lose quite a bit of HP, and considering they're already down a play, they have to be very careful how to play this. We Lidden, he's going to be going in for the entry kill here through the smoke. Kalinka from the team main is going to be trying to do as much damage as he can, but he's going to get taken down to 46 HP. He's going to back straight off there as we have the T's. Push back even further. BWS have performed before. Can they do it this round? We're going to be seeing them pushing him through Ivy as well. Zed is going to be peeking around the corner. He doesn't manage Zilla, to get the kill. Zilla with the second peak gets, gets Perlidon down and uh, Quick punishes this peak quickly. And uh, Quick, actually, the last terrorist left alive. He's going to be looking to peek around the corner. He's going to get spotted out. He misses his shot. Almost a no scope there. Takes out the Tech 9, but it's not going to happen. He is dropped, and now Dick Owls with the first round in a while to break that cycle. Well, I mean, obviously, first two rounds in a while. 
uh, and to try and break that cycle. And they have to be very careful here. If they lose this round, the money's going to be reset, and the, they would only have then so much to be able to win uh, moving forward. And now, BWS, well, they're going to be able to buy up nice and healthy. I mean, like, BWS, so much money left. Uh, okay, not anymore <laughs> after this. This one, Torres, was with uh, 9k in his bank. And, uh, okay, if they lose this one, they will be echoing the next one. If they win this one, they are quite confident to win the next one after, and that, that is map over. Yeah, I mean, all they need to do is try and get the next one out, and I yeah. think confidence and sort of the bit of, little, bit of uh, disappointment coming out from Dickhouse could come into play, but first of all, we have to move through this round. We've got a nice setup over towards Ivy, but unfortunately for them, Dickhouse have learned that this is where they're going to be pushing towards, and Vicious set up there with the AWP looking to flash and now rotate. Not going to be staying in that same situation. Now Zilla with AWP is over there as well. So two AWPs in one spot, a little bit dangerous. Tor is going to be looking over towards the sort of beat there. Not going to be able to enter in these flames. Going to push a Kavik back, but he knows they're going to last for certain, sort of a certain time. So it doesn't really matter. But the linker here, he's going to be coming in from behind. He's got the Molotov. He's going to give away his position, but he throws it off there. Yes, that's true. Kalinka once again from behind. Uh, the cities are not expecting these flanks. What are they trying to do? They're trying to boost over, but in the meanwhile, Nuta gets Kalinka down. And Goborik will add one for the, the team too. Quickly enough, uh, VWS, uh, three players up against Dickhouse's two players. And Bomb is down on A side. Finally, it has worked for the VWS team, Vizda and Zila. The two remaining CTs trying to retake the site. Vizda is not landing his M4 shots as he wanted to. Probably then will punish him. Zila now, the last CT standing, will also fall for quick VWS now on match point. Wow, the water round as well. I mean, VWS were able to enter in there even after being put, pushed back, pushed back, and pushed back. But they just carried on. They, they took it down to a three versus two situation. And they were able to do fantastically. There's a pause coming out. I'm not quite sure that's about. We'll find out in a second, I'm sure. But there's only nine rounds on the board for Dick House, and now we're going to be seeing VWS on the front foot. They've only got to get one more round to be able to win this map, which is obviously Dick House's choice. The next map would be Cobble, which is VW's choice this time around. And I'm pretty confident they do very well on that. Sorry, Mirage. Mirage, yeah. 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 <laughs> next, next one will be Mirage. Mm, well, I would have hoped that Dick House would win this map because, uh, yeah, they're an Estonian team. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think crowd will approve my decision here. No, you don't, you don't want to get in trouble with the crowd, mate. Yeah, um, I don't. So <laughs> VWS is a great team. Yeah? Woo! Yeah. <laughs> no. No, no, no one agrees, apparently. Uh, <laughs> On the side of Dick House, though, we've got a scout, two AWPs, two five sevens, a little bit of a desperate buy here. No rifles coming out for them, no SMGs either. Now, Bitcher, he's going to be opting in for that AWP class cannon maneuver. Now, Kavik is actually going to be buying up the AWP, or sort of dropped it rather, and moving forward into this round. They've got the buy to be able to do it. We've got the running man challenge on go, apparently. And there's a little bit of a classic error here, guys. Yes. CSGO, guys. <laughs> classic. But At least the crowd loves it. <laughs> Apparently oh, well. that got them more excited than the actual game did. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> um, so uh, we'll probably be switching over to a different screen here, and you'll be able to see us back on here in a moment. But let's talk about what happened, what's happened so far. I mean, VWS have been able to do fantastic entries into sites. VWS has been perfect here. Dick House also. I, I, I'm a bit surprised because uh, they played very well on the T side, on, on the map. They are not performing so well on the city side. Yeah. What, what do you think? What happened? Did the nerves break? I, I think they went into this a little bit too confident. Um, so then uh, the fact that they've gone into it with so much confidence and they were knocked back, I think they've then realized, well, hang on, we went into this way too confident and we should be a little bit more careful than we have done. But because they haven't done that, they're going to suffer for it. Uh, and that's really what's happened here as yeah. we're going to be looking to go towards the last round. Uh, I mean, obviously, I'm not quite sure what's happened, guys. I mean, obviously, the server's gone down. We're getting sorted back up. In the meantime, as we're discussing, BWS, fantastic team. Fantastic team, indeed. Flashes, smokes, all uh, accompanying them. They're, they know how to use their utilities, yeah. and uh, they're making it their advantage. And it uh, seems like Dick House are having problems putting something against, up against them. Yeah, yeah, they, they seem to be having that issue, but I don't know. Maybe we'll come back on Mirage. Maybe that's actually one of the better maps. If if they do do that, if they do take their map. Uh, if they don't get this one, 
then it will be taken to overpass. So that's going to be an interesting one to take. We've not seen that here yet. We haven't. It's probably one of the best maps, in my opinion. There's a lot of different things you can do. The rotates are really quick. Uh, the rotates on trainer as well. I mean, there's, there's connector. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't have the map off on the screen to be able to show you guys, but it's literally split second uh, for them to be able to get from A side to B side. So you really want to just place one person there, unless they're continually going off to B, potentially place two people in there, one in connector, one on actual site, defend it from that angle. Then you can have two people on site on A, one over towards long. Uh, well, not sorry, well, IV area. Uh, and you're then going to be able to hold it pretty well from that side. I mean, the rotation yeah, is I mean, really like, quick. Uh, I think that's why VWS played it uh, so, so uh, okay. uh, passively. Yeah. Uh, only one person actually was left on B side. And I think that's exactly why you can rotate so easily from A side to the other one. Yeah, so I think we have actually got a bit of a cheeky interview here that we should be yeah. seeing in a second with a YouTuber. Find out more. So welcome back. Uh, we are we are live, ready to see the last round. Yeah, it's going to be pretty interesting and very, very stressful for Dickhouse there. But talking of which, Gavrox is going to be able to end, get the first kill off. <laughs> yeah, he's going to. We're going to see this over. Uh, uh, going to be looking in for the entry. It's not going to happen. First two kills. They're going to be coming out. Th third one as well. I mean, what is going on here? It's a fantastic play from the CT so far. Too bad we cannot see the weapons actually in the hands of the players, but it uh, seems like Kavarik uh, leading their team there and uh, only one tourist, Luki, left alive to make something happen, probably nothing in the end, because what are you going to do against five people? Uh, you do as much damage as you can there, uh, John. So you, you want to get as much economical damage. I mean, they must know that the house are very low on sort of buy here, so they're in a force buy. So they need to make sure they shut it down as soon as possible. And Tox Twitch looks going to be looking to push in. He gets the first kill. Can he get another one? And he does. The spray is going to be coming out. He's going large here at VWS. This could be your time. Could he get the clutch situation in 1v5? But no, Bidja oh. has the bullet for him and finds the target. Amazing plays from Luki, as you said, some economical damage, that's exactly what, what he did there. And uh, Dickhaus, do you believe in comeback? Do I believe in a comeback? I, I, I really do. I, I think they could do exactly that and um, sort of come back into it. But I think that might be a bit overconfident. I mean, we heard it discussed over on the analyst desk. The only rounds they've won have been really sort of force rounds or the pistol, first three pistol rounds. I mean, apart from that, it's not been good for them at all. Saying that, they've got 10 rounds on the board going up against, uh, uh, sorry, obviously, VWS, and uh, they're going to get so many kills straight off the board, but the trade's going to be coming out onto Vista. Yeah, they're trying to enter B side now. Kaparik, uh, before rotation being left alone from the CT side, Kalinka gets one beautiful Desert Eagle headshot. Quick adds one for himself too, and quick finish by Zila and Nute. Uh, 11th round for them. They just need yeah. this one by round one, these rounds. Yeah. They, they don't. They don't want, want to panic. They they want to take it calmly. They want to concentrate and just Definitely. just like that. Yeah, and I mean, if we have a look at the sort of scoreboard here, I mean, 23 kills on Vichy. He's doing a fantastic job here, uh, trying to help his team. But Gambrook's really going to be making a comeback as well with the AWP and the pistols as well. So if, if they continue on this reign, they could do very well, especially against this uh, uh, this buy. Uh, I mean, we do see a little bit of a weak buy coming out from some sort of dig outs here, but they could do very well if they position themselves correctly. But Toro's going to be trying to deny that. Zilla's going to get dropped. Man advantage over towards the T side. Yeah, that's true. That's uh, not perfect start for the round in the eyes of the dig house. VWS with uh, his friends trying once again the AV position. It has worked for them sometimes, but uh, I mean, like, Dickhaus probably has noticed they yeah. like this IV position. Pitcher ready to take it. Yeah, so they're going to be looking to try and enter in here. That grenade could do a little bit of damage, but it's not going to be doing enough. Is they're going to be looking to enter in through this smoke. This is very dangerous, but they're going to be able to have the sort of position to do it. Now, Pitcher, they're waiting for them to push in. Gabrak actually gets a kill on Kalinka. That's not going to be doing the tease any favors, as they've only got four people left alive. And we're going to be seeing a Torres. We're going to see what you can out pull off here. Coming in from Popdog. He's going to be able to find another kill. He's going in for the tap, tap, tap for Reno. He's going to have his shots. He's not going to drop. And it's in a 1v2 situation. Not looking so good for them for Lydon. He's going to be seeing what damage he can do in a 1v2. Eight VWS guys going to hear the chance. I'm going to see if they can actually join this back on. It does seem like Vista's going to be able to get a kill with the MP9. Who would have thought? Well, I was already afraid that it was round over when the round started. The one-man lead the VWS had. Mm -hmm. It was very frightening for me. 
Dick House managed to get this one back. Just three more rounds to go, and it will be overtime. And I guess uh, Dick House will be very happy because that's the only good thing that could come from the main main time right yeah. now. Yeah, I mean, the technical ball has actually proved to be very fruitful for Dick House. And the 79 is going to be coming out fine. And the kill actually knows it was the AWP coming out from like that. I know he's going to, Gabrex going to be trying to join in, but he's not going to be able to get around that in time. Zilla going to be able to pick up two kills. Third one in hand with the pistol. One player left alive. Is he going to be able to find any damage here? That is a question. Torres left with just a block in hand. Well, block isn't a pistol that's going to make a lot of damage. No. Well, in this case, not a single damage, but uh, it was a quick round for Dick House, an easy round for Dick House. Uh, and VWS had, had to yeah. echo this one and probably will echo this one more round before the actual last round. No, not actually gonna be uh -huh. like that. Yeah, they're gonna be able to go into a decent bind this one. I mean, full AKs across the board, if I remember correctly. Good amount of utility as well, but AWP is gonna be coming out on Bitcher over towards Connector. He's done a lot of damage there before. He could potentially do it again. Three CTs over towards the A side, two onto B. So the higher presence on the, the B side here. They should take a note of a note of VWS's book and push over towards B, gather early information, potentially kills as well. Bitcher is actually over towards the B side, not towards Connector. over that, but. Yeah, the figure here is going to be looking to push in the through Ivy. Vista's going to get the kill on Torres, though. That's the man down on the side of FWS. So I'll be for them. Convic, can he find the kill for the smoke? It's not going to happen. Zilla's going to be backing off, chucking a grenade for his trouble. Doing a little bit of damage there, and the kill through the smoke. Now for Lillian, he's going to, have to do a lot of damage, but he's going to get denied with only two people left alive. It's not looking so good. <laughs> Now all down to Luke, and he, he's not been able to do it before. He gets one kill, but the, the, the smoke spray is coming out. But he's going to get find another one. What is going on here? Taking out to 7 HP from that grenade. Taps away in the corners, but no. The M4 is going to smash his head off. That's true. What if you are VWS? What do you think right now? They spent all of their money <laughs> last round. They don't have the exact amount of money huh? to get the full buy here. They have to deal with... Semi buy actually. Kalinka, yeah. Prilidon with the. Uh, what is this? <laughs> <Glails. laughs> there you go. Yeah, so I don't think it's the most healthiest to buy, but I think if they do play it correctly, they could do very well. But the problem is they've been going for Ivy round after round, and it's just getting shut down now by Dick House with this AWP on Bitcher over towards B. It's going to push them over towards A, and that's exactly what's going to happen. They pushed in the wall of smokes. The Great Wall of China's up, and they're going to be able to try and get the bomb down here. Bitcher is going to have to rotate very quickly. Luke is going over towards the site. The bomb is so far behind. The trade's going to be coming out. Zilla is going to be able to get the trade down. Now Kovic is going to be able to get the lead of the team. The bomb is looking to go down, but Kovic gets dropped. Yeah, the terrorists uh, quickly with a lot of smokes taken over. A side, Wizda now gets one back for them. Two versus two, it's very doable for both of the teams, depending on how they can play it out. Yeah, I mean, the, the time is still on the T side, so they have a lot of time to play with the mind, but the positions are not so great. But we're going to be seeing Fista spoil the play. Kate takes the kill. It's now one person left alive, and we're going to overtime, ladies and gentlemen. We are without it in Dick House, but they can actually take it back after the technical pause they had. Yeah. Which uh, probably worked as a, so in their as favor. a tactical yeah. pause as well. And do you think, can we manage with one overtime? One overtime. Um, I don't know. I, I've seen it go to four or eight before, some ridiculous things like that. But I, I think we might, what we might be seeing is actually Dick House coming out into their fruition and they're going to be able to try and smash his way and take this overtime, which would be very interesting to watch, especially as both these teams have been fantastic across this. I mean, both obviously going to be able to get pick up 15 rounds each on train on both sides. Really good. Yeah, very good. I think, I believe Dick House now, when they got themselves going on the city side. Yeah then uh, I think they can actually win. They performed very well on T side. Yeah. Uh, well, if they, if they can continue like, like they did right now, yeah. they have every, every single possible uh, possibility to take this map. And oh, they, they also need this map because it was their pick. <laughs> yeah, so it'd be a little bit embarrassing if uh, Dikas do drop the ball and then they're not able to pick up this one. So we're going to be seeing a little bit of a push over towards A. There's going to be a little bit of distraction as we do have player pushing over towards sort of, uh, Pop dog there to try and get this thing to win. I mean, it worked for them before. Can it work again? Vista's going to be a little bit distracted by that flame. A little bit of a fire and bomb is going to get dropped down for a little bit. Going to be playing the sort of back position in case aggression comes out from Dick House and VWS rather to place themselves in towards A here. Yeah, terrorists have been split up. This time they're not taking the air position as we have uh, used to be seeing. Uh, VWS 
trying to get the picks quick. Will get the first one and open up a site. Kalinka adds one for themselves too. And uh, if there's a site fully open, teams just have to walk, walk in and plant bomb. Yeah, so the bomb is going to be going down. It's planted in quite good position. The, the, the T's, they have the advantage. They've got the gun advantage as well. Vista with the fam is not looking so good. I think that was a pitcher with the AWP going to be Pitcher. able to find the corner. And he finds the kill. It was a headshot onto Gravik as well. Of and course, he saw, his, he saw his AK. It was easy kill for Pitcher. Now, tries to do some more damage for the terrorist. But Preliton, with a good AWP shot there, Pitcher has the information. Will land the shot. The last terrorist, Kalinka, trying to defend it. Oh, so close there, but you have to be very careful here. By now, AWP's into overtime. It's not looking so good, and that's going to be the first round of overtime. Going over to VWS as we see them both run away here. Kalinka has actually only got the AK-47. I thought potentially had an AWP there, but wasn't able to find it. So, hey, this is looking pretty good for uh, VWS here. Yeah, that's true. If you can start uh, building your wins as a T, then you're in Wonderland. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. I mean, you, you shouldn't really be able to get as easy rounds as you can on the T side that they have been doing. They've been a fantastic job of smashing down the Tech House's door and uh, being able to get the rounds in. So can they continue on this route? Gebrook has got the AWP, though, and uh, the CT obviously have a decent amount of money here. Vista's going to be looking to push up. I imagine with that grenade going up there, no, it's going to play a little bit more passively. Yeah, once again, VWS uh, not going for the AV position. Pichu with a good AVP shot and Kaporik with another one, making it five versus three in favor of Dick House. Quick, uh, quickly trying to even it out a bit, but will fall himself. And Kalinka also, Kaporik and Pichu doing good work, good work here. And Perliton, last man standing from the T side, will try to save his AK, I believe. Yeah, I'm pretty, uh, no, hey, no, still. there you go. Uh, he's playing up towards that sort of area. He's got the bomb, he's got the confidence. Can he pull it off now? VWS left in a tight situation. They don't want to give any rounds over towards Dick House here. They're going to be looking to enter in towards the air. So, he takes one kill. Can he take another? Spots him out, but he turns around the corner. Gavrik going to be able to take him down. I'm not sure, quite sure if you noticed, but when he, when Gavrik jumped off the top of the train earlier, he did a 360. I think he went for 360. No scope. Um, unfortunately, he didn't land it, but would be hilarious. Uh, FaZe would obviously take him up on the. It's a contract uh, after that kill. Um, <laughs> so moving forward, we're not going to be seeing the best of, uh, sort of rounds from uh, VWS that round. It really wasn't productive for them. They got sort of shut down completely by Dick House. Yeah, that's true. Well, but you cannot win every round. You just have to win more. Yeah. Definitely. So Vecha is going to be looking in for the entry kill. It's not going to happen. But the Gabra is going to be able to finish him off. <laughs> oh. as well. And Kalinka gets a trade of his own. Well, I like how VWS plays it. So, uh, sorry, in the meanwhile, Pearl then will go down. Um, they enter the site very smoothly. Yeah. They are in in the corners. The cities are not expecting them far before the timer reaches anywhere. Vizda now gets quick down and Kalinka with AVP. Last man standing again with a, trying to do something. Will he manage to actually take this round? Yeah, it's going to be very difficult for him to do that, but I mean, with the AK and bomb in his hands, he's got a minute to play with, so he could quite literally do dances around them. He could go over towards the B site, potentially not getting noticed either. I mean, I think they know where about he is, so he's going to be looking to push through there, not even checking his corners as he's going, going to be going down. Vista is not even going to notice him, so he's going to be able to make his way all the way towards B site, but time is ticking. The CT should realize this might well be happening. They're going to be looking to check their corners. The rotation coming in over from the CT player over Kalinka. towards Connector. Will he go behind them? He will try. Nutte now gets the information for the dick house. Vizda re reacting to it and bomb planted on B side. Kalinka only has to defend it now. Yeah, he's going to be playing with time now. Vista in a 1v1 with Kalinka. M4A1 versus AK47. 31 HP on uh, Kalinka. There. He's going to be very dangerous, but he finds the kill. And that is another round on the board for VWS. And that is going to be 17 to 16. We're going into the second half of overtime. Well, now, VWS, two rounds on the overtime. It's going to be really difficult for Dickhouse to come back. They need to perform at least the same. Yeah. They have to, well, they have to do better than they just did. They can't lose, they can't drop two rounds. They need to be able to take it even further than that. Yeah. Um, I mean, all the guys have to, no, sorry, VWS have to do another two rounds and they pretty much saw it. Um, so we're going to have to see a little bit of sort of stronger sort of performance on this T side 
Yeah, Dick well, Dickhouse at least has to take two if they want to stay in yeah. right now. But well, of I'm course, talking. it would be ideal for Dickhouse to take all of the three. Let's see yeah. how, how it will turn out. Yeah, and this is where the pressure is coming on, and this is where we see people who can perform or they can't perform. Uh, and with newer, newer players, it's a lot harder for them to be able to have that experience, to be able to actually carry on into overtime. If this goes to second overtime, it's going to be pushing people to the limits. Then they've got another map, potentially even a third one after that. Depends how it goes. And if we see overtime in each one, it's going to be people pushing people to their limits and see who can be the best of the well, esports uh, player, as it were. So we're going to be seeing uh, the cut round coming off here. Kravik with the smoke over towards Popdog, trying to shut off any early sort of pushes there. Yeah, now Preludan alone defending B site, but uh, fortunately for, for him, the terrorists are not rushing this site. I hope they cannot hear me now. <laughs> no, neither that. So, Prilidin, what is he going to be able to do here? Vista uh, over towards the top of B. Trying to see any heads that pop out. Looks to seem like it's going to happen. The glass is going to get smashed on the A site, so they're not going to be able to tell where the CTs are lurking. We're going to see one kill coming out. The second one as well, VWS. They've got the man on point. Luigi not going to miss his heads, but Zilla in return takes out Torres as he enters in through Ivy, but he's going to hang back. Not going to be pushing too hard. As we do have a, a two versus four situation. And that was taken down to. It was a two versus five. And it was taken down to two versus four by Zilla. Now, yeah. what more can they do here? Well, Tickhouse in a difficult position now. Quick making it more difficult for them. For the enemy team, I mean. Yeah. Vizda, the only person alive for the T's. With the bomb, if he manages to plant it, maybe he can also defend it, but it doesn't. Mean, doesn't doesn't seem like he can even enter the site because Kalinka is there. AVP shot to the head. And uh, VWS with on the match points, actually. Yeah, so VWS being the home team, very comfortable, very confident in themselves. They're doing a fantastic job here on both sides. And uh, to be honest, I think they've been performing better um, out of the two teams. Uh, and now they have to sort of confirm that by winning yeah. this last round here because we're on the match point here guys on the first overtime potentially could see more if it comes down to it now the T's have bought up they're going to be entering in over towards sort of B here actually Vista going to be looking to push up uh, sort of B long here yeah Prilliden once again they want to watch lower B and this time it seems he, ha he can see some action because the terrorists are pushing towards B and uh, doesn't seem like cities have any idea where to expect them. Yeah, but Prilin does actually get the grenade out and the Molotov. Oh, sorry, sorry, incendiary grenade going to be coming out, but the headshot coming out from Vista onto him. VWS in the sort of back foot here, but Prilin's uh, sort of Molly is going to be able to land a lot of damage. Now, Kalenka with AWP is going to be looking to see if he can land some kills there. Over towards Train, the last man standing there. <laughs> Torres is going to get taken out through the smoke. Vista going to spot his head. Zilla spot on one as well. So it's now down to a two versus four situation in favor. And there we go. Dickhouse going to be able to take the round just in time. And now we're going to have to see if eight and VWS will shut them down before it gets too far. There you go. You want to buy a girlfriend? Mate, this isn't RuneScape. Yeah. <laughs> So no, no buying uh, GFs for gold, as it were. Um, not in this lifetime, anyway. Uh, so VWS, another try to finish this map off. They need this round to uh, to win this map. If they don't, if Dickhouse wins, uh, it will be another overtime. Wow. <laughs> One overtime it will be as well. I mean, on, on train, both teams performing fantastically on both sides. I've mentioned a few times. The girls really, I mean, under pressure, they're trying to scrape it up. And it's like, well, we're not going to let you run away with this. We want at least to uh, give it our go. And talking of which, Kovic's going to be able to find the first kill onto Vista in favor of the CTs now. The smoke's going to be going down. Gavrik's not going to be able to get that kill against the, the CT who killed his teammate. Yeah, VWS uh, feeling comfortable now with one man lead. Yeah, I mean, um, that, that one-man lead is a lot, though. Um, it is a lot. They can control so much more than uh, the terrorists can take. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, if it was on the, the CTs having four man, that would be worse than the T's having four people because they can do a lot more. Say if they go into B now, they're doing a four and all of them. That's a four versus two situation. Yeah, that's uh, could quickly change into four versus three, but they'd have the advantage in there, but they're going to have to enter in. So it means they have one less player who could play over towards, I don't know, A or maybe place and do a little bit of distraction. But talking of distractions, we're going to be seeing a lot of distraction going over towards the B site whilst the bomb is going to rotate through Pop Dog here. Yeah, it's going to be rotating, but none of the CTs are rotating towards B. It means that Dickhouse is running 
against three players in the A side and already the CT players are rotating from B, which means that Dick House is shut down and the overtime is finished. BWS takes first map. Yeah, and that was actually Dick House's map, so Train is going to be getting taken away and uh, shut down by VWS and what a fantastic performance by obviously Lithuanian team. Lithuanian, but I wouldn't uh, say Dick House performed any no. worse. No, they performed very well, they don't need to go to the doctor anytime soon. Um, so we're going to be going into the second map very shortly, um, which is going to be on Mirage. That's going to be an interesting one. I mean, with these players that are coming out, I mean, a lot of the fakes as well going out over towards the B site, and it unfortunately didn't work that one because it was read by VWS very well. Um, should be interesting. Uh, so we missed that one. And uh, both teams, congratulations! That was a very good performance. Very good performance indeed. Do we have analytics test ready? Soon, I think. <laughs> um, and it's going to be interesting to see their viewpoints as well, because obviously they're going to be able to sit there, study it up, and see which is which. Uh, and I'm a little bit disappointed they go to sort of second overtime because that, that'd be pretty impressive to see a second overtime, obviously. Yeah, on that's stage. true. And, and see how it can te sort of test the limits. Yeah, but I hope it won't be one-sided uh, second map, though. No. Well, hopefully, uh, with this one as well, it's a big challenge for both teams. Yeah. And uh, it's not, not just a straight wipe off. And uh, they're actually able to sort of perform quite well. And uh, with the uh, I mean, decals, I mean, they did very well on both sides. Nowhere near to the same standard as VWS. The, the sort of execution from VWS came out. It was very strong when they went for it. They, they hammered it away. Uh, I mean, one of the things they kept on doing, though, was very repetitive takes over towards Ivy, which they have to be careful about. Yeah, that's true. The Ivy takes were expected. And uh, I, th I believe in the end, Dick House really managed, managed yeah. their team to defend the Ivy position. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and then it forced the sort of VWS to reconsider, OK, what do we do in this situation? They've uh, gotten onto our little tactic here. We're going to have to switch it around. Where do we want to en enter in from? And they have to sort of change the positions around. They, they did just that. And that's where they got two into overtime, but unfortunately couldn't carry it further, and they were taken down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I mean, let's just run over the, the map picks here. Um, we've obviously got the first map that was uh, sort of banned was by Dick House, which was Dust 2, as we mentioned. Cobble was taken down by VWS. First pick, Train by Dick House. They lost it. They lost it. Mirage. It's going to be VW's uh, maps, an interesting one there. Yeah. And then Nuke was banned by Dick House, and then Cash was banned by VWS, and then Overpass is the decider. And from what I've seen, I think we could actually see this map going in the way of uh, Dick House, and we could be seeing the third map come out, because it's been very even, very much back and forth between these two teams, fighting very well. That indeed, back and forth, as you said. And, uh, well, I'm just hoping that Mirage will be Dick House's map, like uh, Train was yeah. for the VWS. Yeah, I mean, if, if you want to know how to do a good uh, Mirage play, go study VP. Uh, with VP, they have a lot of good people who do a lot of kills, but when it comes down to it, it's their tactics. The fact that they've been together for over two years now, I'm pretty sure it's coming up to their third year, which is just ridiculous. And I mean, Taz is 30, 34, yeah. like probably one of the oldest players in uh, CSGO at the moment, and they're, they're currently the top team. And they've got the tactics on Mirage, and they, I mean, they turn on their, their first plow. As it were, and there's just smash through teams. They've lost a few uh, sort of games where they shouldn't have on Mirage, but they've made up for that as well. Yeah, that's true. Mirage, uh, indeed, very interesting map to see. Maybe some VP tactics, as you mentioned, would be would be wise. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we are going to be switching over to the lounge, guys. So the fans can talk you through the games.